Okay, so here's a quick video about activity impressions, activity conversions. This question just popped up on Measure Slack. It's something that I often uh, get, come across weekly, uh, several times a month uh, with different organizations that I work with. So uh, it has to do with uh, A for T. So basically using Adobe Analytics as the reporting source for your activities in Adobe Target really really helpful tool uh, I'm gonna also incorporate activity conversions the question was posed about activity impressions and so how this works uh, you can see here on our homepage we have a bunch of different activities running which you know just is this is a playground for me it's not something you know I have all these tests running simultaneously um, and so as visitors get into the tests you're still the unique visitor, but if I were to refresh the page multiple times here, each one of the different offers, in that case, experience B for that activity, experience B for that activity, and so on. I'll get default content, I'm sure, in here as well. So every time Adobe Target responds back to the page where the test is running, that will increment your activity impressions. But the story doesn't end there. You have to come here and apply same touch attribution like this same touch apply and then the data will be truly representative representative of offers or, or the or the where the test is running um, impressions incrementing within there um, activity conversions the same thing we need to apply same touch attribution otherwise it it, it doesn't work as it should so applying same touch attribution is, you have to do it. There's no way around it. And what, what activity conversions is, um, is with A for T activities, and here's one using auto allocate uh, with A for T. And so when you set up any activity, you get to choose whether you want Adobe Analytics to be the reporting source, A for T, or Adobe Target as a reporting source. But if you choose Adobe Analytics, which I highly recommend it's it's gives you much more than choosing just Adobe target if you have Adobe Analytics you get a bonus metric you get a metric that is from Adobe target where it can be something like you know a conversion metric it could be view to page clicked an element let's say you have something um, that you're unable to um, you don't know what the metric could be within Adobe Analytics. So this is a wonderful way. I just added a, a, a click tracking event on the fly. And that for this particular activity would represent activity conversions over here. And this value would increment as someone uh, clicks on that particular element. Um, don't use it. It's kind of a waste to use an analytics metric that takes away this bonus metric because by choosing Adobe Analytics, the data is in there anyways. Um, I mean, you could if, if you didn't have anything. Um, but the other thing you can do is like viewed an inbox. And this is something that I'm helping another company with right now. They want to use um, a linear metric for auto allocation. And here you can use the inbox on the thank you page and then apply additional targeting, which is really cool. But this too, and any of the other options within here, all show up as activity conversions within here. Really, really helpful to get this data into Adobe Analytics and then you can do what you want with it. But hopefully this helps. Activity impressions, activity conversions, the big thing is you have to apply same touch attribution. So take care.